this lesson, we're going to cover how to create a custom function in Google Sheets. So you can see in this example here, we have year to date sales by month. We have a column for sales revenue, one for cost of goods sold and one for other expenses. And we want to create a custom function that not only subtracts cost of goods sold and other expenses from our sales revenue, but also applies the corporate tax rate and subtracts that as well so that we can calculate a profit after tax. So the first thing we want to do to build a custom function is to go to tools and then script editor. This is what you will see if it's your first time in the script editor. We have the building block to create a custom function. It begins with the keyword function and then the script editor assigns it a generic name, my function. We can change that to something more useful like profit post tax. Then we have a set of parentheses here. Um, this is where we'll define our inputs for our function. So think about, you know, the the built-in functions that are already in Google Sheets, uh, they have certain inputs. That's what this is here. So our inputs are sales, cost of goods sold, and other expenses. So that's what we'll use. And I'm going to abbreviate cost of goods sold and other expenses. So then we have a set of curly brackets. That is where we will actually input the code on how we want this function to perform. It needs to begin with the keyword return. And we want to take our sales value and subtract cost of goods sold and other expenses to get a net profit before tax and then we want to calculate the corporate tax rate on that pre-tax net profit and subtract that as well so i'm going to enclose this pre-tax net profit formula in parentheses copy it and we're going to subtract it with the corporate tax rate applied to it Now code normally needs to end, each line of code you have normally needs to end with a semicolon, so just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna save this. We'll call this profit post tax. Hit okay, we'll go back into our spreadsheet. Now you can see it does not auto populate when we start typing it. That requires some additional code. We will get to that here shortly, but just bear with me. So profit post tax, and then we'll enter our inputs. And we have our net profit after tax. If we wanna check this really quick, we can. We can just subtract these expenses from sales. That gives us our pre-tax net profit we need to apply the corporate tax rate to that and subtract that. And we get the same amount. And I'll just check it on all of these and you can see this is good to go. So now what we wanna do is add some additional code so that when we start typing this function, it populates like the other built-in functions. So, we're going to enter down a little bit to add some more space up top. And we're going to begin with a slash and then a star star and end this with a star and a slash. And anything in between this begin point and end point is where we will tell the script editor that this is a custom function and provide a description so that it populates when you start typing it. So each line of code in between these endpoints needs to begin with a star. And the first one we want to input is at custom function. Up above it, we want to provide a description. 
we'll just say calculates profit after tax. Hit save. And we can go back into our spreadsheet and start typing this. You can see we have our custom function there and we have our inputs and then a description of what it does. So that is how you can build a custom function in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.